What stops a switch loop from taking down your network? Spanning tree protocol. Let me show you how it works. Spanning tree protocol or STP is a layer two protocol that prevents loops in redundant switch topologies. It does this by blocking one or more ports, but in a smart way. First, STP picks the root bridge, the central point of the network, the switch with the lowest bridge ID. That ID is priority plus MAC address. You run the command show spanning tree and you can see the bridge ID here, which is the priority plus the MAC address. The priority by default is 32,768 plus the VLAN ID, which is right here. We're looking at VLAN one, hence the plus one and this number. It also tells you the ID of the root bridge. In this topology, switch one is the root. After the root is chosen, each switch picks a root port. It is the best path back to the root bridge. Then spanning tree protocol blocks one port to prevent a loop. With the show spanning tree command, you can also see the interfaces and the role and the status of each interface. On the root bridge, all interfaces are designated and forwarding. On the other switches, one interface is the root, which has the lowest cost back to the root bridge. And then one of the non-root bridges will block a port to prevent the loop. In this topology, switch three blocked ethernet zero one to prevent a loop. And that's spanning tree in action. Root bridge first, then the root ports, then the designated ports. Follow me for the next video where I'll show you how spanning tree protocol chooses the root ports. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.